Hi, hello everybody. I would like to show you today solar cells, polycrystalline and uh, 6 by 6 inches and I would like to show you all things that you need to create your own solar panel, how to tap them, how to connect cells. First of all, I would like to show you two types of solar cells and first one, this one. Um, I bought them in UK and as you can see it's a little different from this one uh, probably because different type of machine was doing this I don't know to be honest but never mind <coughs> so first of all what you need to know about the solar cells uh, the back is pos uh, positive and the front is negative same for this one back is positive front is negative. As you can see, um, this is a little bit, bit different ar architecture, even mm, design is a little bit different from that one. Um, the back is a little bit different, it has, um, you know, uh, some kind of specific places to put soldering and the tabbing wire here, uh, you have the one line and second line on this. Um, this one I bought from from States and um, I have checked it is a little bit less efficient than this one but of course they have been these ones have been a little bit um, uh, cheaper from that one so so I want to check both of these ones uh, you know create solar panel uh, and um, I will later describe which one is better, what are the pros and cons, and um, what you need to have. What you need to have to start your uh, um, soldering. Uh, you need to have tabbing wire. Tabbing wire. I bought about five hundred feet so so it's about 150 meters so it's a lot to be honest it's about six maybe seven panels you can create using this uh, also what you need to um, have you need to have a bus wire this wire is a little bit thicker and you can see I bought also extra one because and here is 15, 15 meters and it's 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 quite good I mean the price was quite good so I have ordered four of these ones so so it should be okay the first main thing soldering iron so I would like to show mine this is a Polish company and uh, as you can see this is 60 watts and uh, companies that produce uh, solar cells they recommend 65 watts um, I was using uh, 60 watts so it was okay I heard that some people are using 40 I'm not recommending but I was using 60 and it was if uh, it was working very good so hopefully you need to have uh, you need to have soldering iron. What you need to have also flux pen. Most of the most of the people are using flux pens. Okay. And they have added uh, to the solar cells for free. Uh, but to be honest, I'm not. I will. I. I'm not using flux pens. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, I am uh, using this kind of thing from the bottle. This is also the same stuff like it is in the, the same flux, but probably the same, but from the bottle. Uh, I don't know, I have different standards, so I prefer this. Most of the people are using a, a flux pen. I am not recommending to do this because there is more um, possibility to, to break the cell so I prefer to be when I am putting the flux 
to put the using some kind of brush or something this this stuff so probably I have used uh, this a couple of times and it was it is working great okay what what I was going to say normally these cells um, most of the cells they are coming as uh, in this kind of bundle like this and as you can see here is about 50 pieces so so it is okay what I was going to say uh, it is good before before starting uh, to tab uh, cells it is good to have uh, some kind of tool or template whatever it's called this tool will help you to um, uh, solder in with, without any problems solder cell will be stable and there will be no problems uh, while soldering you can put here your your solar cell on and I will take one you have to remember that they are very fragile and very very fragile <coughs> as you can see it is you can see um, that the solar cell match with the, with the frame and it is and when you tab this you can easily pick it up and grab it from the from both sides so this is good benefit and there is no it is quite stable on this there is no uh, shaking or something so this will help you to uh, avoid problems with uh, soldering and breaking the cells last issue about this you remember that the material it should be hard like um, wood steel glass um, it shouldn't be soft like paper um, I don't know much some kind of material um, I don't know some people are using this and you have to remember when you put a hot soldering here when you tap them in these places uh, it is there is more um, situations with breaking uh, cells I, I will show you in the next videos uh, how to tap them using this soldering iron and so I have all elements needed I'm showing you what needs to be uh, included thank you very much for watching see you in the next video thanks bye bye